welcome back to the Brown Lounge. We are on location uh, with Siren Songs down at the Spanish Table uh, here with uh, Sharon Baden, who's the proprietor and co-owner of the Spanish Table. Siren Songs is a segment that is focused on wine lovers and winemakers, and we know that you're a wine lover, so um, thanks for being on the program. So we're here in your wine section, obviously, and it's an impressive selection. So tell us a little bit about your store and tell us a little bit about your wine selection. Okay. Well, in a nutshell, we, our first trip to Spain was in 1985, and one of the things we fell in love with was Spanish wine. Um, and there was very little Spanish wine available at that time. There's uh, classical wines from Spain as based here in Seattle. They were one of the first to bring in really top-notch wines from Spain. But other than that, there really wasn't much available. Um, and we've grown from a handful of wines when we first opened the store in 95. We now have 900 different wines. And we don't even have room for all the Spanish wines that are available. So tell us a little bit about uh, the, the Spanish wines, and, and I see wines from different countries as well, but sort of like what are the regions, and you cover everything, or are there specific areas that you really focus on? Well, Spain is our primary focus. Portugal is our secondary focus. Uh, we also have wines from Greece, Argentina, Chile. We have a few from Lebanon. Um, we have one from Washington, who actually, he's a Spaniard, and he lives in Fremont, and he makes wine in Yakima. His actually, his winery is in Woodenville, but um, his family grows grapes in Spain's Ribera del Duero region. Terrific. And his wine's fantastic. It's a 100% Grenache. Uh, so I, not everyone knows that I lived in Spain when I was a youngster, when I was a college student. I lived in Salamanca. Mm -hmm. And I discovered Spanish wines back in the 70s and fell in love with Rioja. In fact, I just adored it and was enchanted by that, that whole style of winemaking. So much so that, that Siren Song Wines is actually bringing out a, a Rioja style uh, version of Siren Song. So uh, we're in the process of bottling that and we'll hopefully get, get you a taste of that sometime soon in the fall. Um, but I understand that you just made a trip to Spain. I know that you go to Spain a lot. Um, tell, tell the audience a little bit about that trip and what you discovered. That was the most amazing trip ever. We went with a wine importer, Ole Imports, and pretty much covered the whole northern part of the country. But the one region we spent three days in that was the most fascinating was Galicia and uh, Leon, which is the northwestern part of Spain. And we went to one part of Spain I've always wanted to go to called Bierzo. It's kind of a remote area, and they just a lot of little villages, two-lane roads, very hilly and very, very steep. And fairly close to Bierzo is a region called Ribera Sacra, which has these incredibly steep terraced hillsides. Oh, I've been, heard about that place. Yeah, yeah, they've been planted since the Roman times. Right. And it kind of you know, was abandoned, people were still growing grapes, but just making wine for themselves, and now it's been rediscovered, but still the wines are made in very small quantities. So I understand you found a, one of your favorites, right? So yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it was really exciting to meet the winemaker of this wine. El Picado is the wine. The winemaker is Raul Perez, and this guy is amazing. He's just pure energy. He's just got ideas bubbling out of every pore, and he just like goes from one thing to another. But he's um, very committed to producing the best wine that he can get. He's um, a real expert in viticulture. He's actually contracts out to different wineries to help them with their vineyards. And he's trying to rescue a lot of indigenous varietals that are almost extinct. So this particular wine is made in Ribera Sacra. It, the grape is 100% Mencia, uh, which isn't one of the ones in danger of extinction, but um, only 16 cases of this wine come to the States every year. Oh. So we got four bottles of it. And, I will have um, to try that one. It's kind of like a burgundy in a way. I mean, it has that elegance, that suppleness, um, minerally. It's amazing. What's the best thing about being in the wine business? <laughs> the people, yeah. truly. 
it's, you know, the people, everybody is relaxed. It's probably not just because they're drinking a lot of wine, but... Um, I think it helps. It is. <laughs> but people, they're, they're just, they're enjoying themselves. It's, they're doing what they love. Um, and it really comes through. It's um, just, I mean, I'm sure there are aspects of it that are very pressure-filled, but compared to my last career... It's just people having fun, and that's what's great about it. I, I'd second that. Uh, being a winemaker and a wine lover, we love the Spanish table. And for our audience, uh, please check out uh, the other segments on the Spanish table, because what you'll find here is not only a world-class wine selection, but a mixture of, of great world-class cheeses and olives and all of the paella ingredients and paella pans that you'll never find anywhere else. And we're here in the... Western Avenue store in Seattle, Washington, which is where we live, but we understand you have other shops. So tell the audience a little bit about your other shops, where they are, and also about your websites. Sure. We have two stores in the Bay Area in California, uh, one in Berkeley, which is actually a little larger than our Seattle store. It's a very big wine department. Um, our second store is in Mill Valley, Sausalito. It's a smaller store, more of a boutique kind of store, um, kind of has what we call the best of the Spanish table. They don't have room for everything. And then our last store is in New Mexico, in Santa Fe. Oh. They don't have a wine license. Oh. It's a private, you have to buy a private wine sure. license. Sure, state law. Yeah, Yeah. so it's super expensive. So. Tell, tell the audience about your website, how and, they find you online. Uh, we have Spanish Table Wines is our wine website. And then we have another website that's for everything about wine, and that is SpanishTable.com. So either one of those sites has the location of our stores. So be sure to check out the Spanish Table's websites. Please try go to the uh, website, uh, our website, go to the YouTube channel, Brown Lounge Seattle. Check out all of the great videos that we have. Certainly we appreciate you being on the program today. That's going to conclude uh, today's program, Siren Songs. And again, we're delighted to be here. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. As the Spanish say, buen provecho.